I first came to Casuals in, in 1999 and I joined Casuals as a player originally and I just fell in love with the club, with the story, with the history and then in 2001 we came on tour to, to play against Corinthians Paulista and I remember driving into Parc Saint Georges and there was a horn blowing, like a big siren blowing and there were fans banging at the... and I thought, this is amazing. Hey, come on! Little uh, game today, boys! Hey, little one, don't worry about it. Clapton away! And down there. Bounce! Not in Sondra! Don't worry about it. This, this, this is really good! Cool. <laughs> and I thought I could never, I'll never be able to get to a level where I'm part of such a great story. There's no club in England at our level with a story and a connection to something like Corinthians Paulista. And I just fell in love. And so I thought, I never want to leave the club. I want to try and you know, help the club for as long as I can. And so I never left. So in 2013, the, uh, the football club was, was very, very poor. And the chairman said to me, we might have to close. You know, it was at the point where the club had no money to pay the bills anymore. And my job, I, I, I work in the media and I work in film and stuff. And I, I said to him, well, look, let me try and make the film of the story and let me try and tell the world this, this relationship we have with Corinthians Paulista, and we have this story in the film where in, in 2014, it was the anniversary of the First World War. And all the Corinthians who came with the English team to Brazil in 1910, most of them died in the First World War. And then in 1914, they were coming again when the war began and we had to go back to England and they all died in the war. And so I said, let's go to Brazil and let's, let's play the matches that those guys never played 100 years before. And let's tell that story. And it took a lot of work to get, to get the game to happen because the World Cup was starting in 2014 in Brazil. And then we did it in January 2015. And uh, it was one of the greatest, it was one of the greatest moments of my life and for all the guys involved in the match. Obviously in uh, 2015, obviously when we came and obviously we was on the plane and we arrived in uh, Sao Paulo airport and uh, obviously coming through the airport and then um, as you walk through the airport, all the supporters are there waiting for you and going crazy and, and uh, you know, with all the players and chucking me up in the air and uh, it was an unbelievable experience to actually see there's loads of Corinthian supporters waiting at the airport for us. We, we, we've never ever experienced anything like that before, so it was fantastic to see. When does any non-league club, let alone professional club, experience this? Obviously I knew players that uh, came in 2001 and they said it was uh, a little bit crazy, but um, I didn't realise how, how crazy it was going to be, like how it was for me to come on and uh, play in that game in for the last 30 minutes and then the last 15 minutes of the game, swap shirts with Danilo, uh, was, uh, was a dream come true. The story of the relationship between Casuals and Corinthians Paulista the, the, the critics and the journalists in the newspapers called it the most, the most romantic story in the beautiful game. Because in the film, you see this giant club, Corinthians Paulista, basically rescue Corinthians casuals, their, their fathers and their brothers in football. And it was, it was something which really made everyone emotional in England. And that was people who didn't know the story. And so when it comes out in Brazil, I, I I'm really hopeful that the fans get to watch it and that people are touched by the story and they, they realise that it was the fans of Corinthians Paulista who really made it possible and then the club paid for you know, certain things to make it happen and put the match on. And it's a, it's, a, it's a lovely film which is this amazing story of how the top professional team can help still the small amateur team and that isn't seen much in football anymore. Yeah, I'd just like to say uh, thanks for all your messages and, uh, and it's been a great experience in 2015 
and uh, keep the support up for the Corinthians and the players. The message is, Vai Corinthians, Akia Corinthians, and, um, and please watch the film. In Mouse No Football, uh, A Historia dos Dois Corinthians. And it's on Google Play, iTunes, Vivo. It's on all the platforms. So yeah, watch it. If you can't watch football now because it's canceled, watch the film because you can still see Corinthians in the film. So that's the message, but Vai Corinthians. Fire Corinthians.